Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This week I've got my son Carl with me. Oh yeah. He's doing his first ever plant-based food shop. He's gonna give the plant-based diet a little try. So we're gonna see how we get on. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Well, let's do it! <laughs> So we're starting off in the fruit and veg section. Now, how do you and Anna eat normally? Do you, have you got much time? Can you cook a lot from scratch? Or do you have like ready meals? How do you normally uh, sort Anna of Anna normally cooks it all from scratch. All from, oh, yeah, she's a good much. girl then. Yeah, she's a good girl. So I guess we need lots of, uh, lots of produce. Yes, pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, just get a range. It's good to emphasize like dark leafy greens, but yeah, a bit of, bit of whatever, yeah. Just get us whatever just grab, we'll go for it. To be honest, it's all <laughs> vegan, so just grab <laughs> exactly. whatever you like. <laughs> so what do you think I should go for? Uh, so leafy greens are great, so spinach is good. Kale's particularly good, that's a cruciferous that's a super, vegetable. That's a super, yeah. not a super fruit? Not a super kind fruit. of a super food, yeah. Pizza These are particularly good. Things like watercress and rocket, Yeah. they're very nutrient dense. If you, see something, if you don't mind it. peppery leaves. Uh, I like that. So for good fats, avocados are particularly good. They've got lots of vitamin E. Yeah. You can make like guacamole. Anna loves avocados as well, so. Yeah. Get some sure avos in you then. That. Those have been, oh, those are organic, are, are they? they um, is there a certain date where these lot go out on? It's like they tend to stay unripe for ages, and yeah. if you look away for a second, they'll be overripe. Oh, so, uh, yeah, be careful. We like Anna to try and get good. some that are ripe and some that are not ripe. Broccoli's particularly good. Everybody loves broccoli. Yeah, carrots for like beta carotene. We like organic, don't we? Yeah, I prefer organic. Beetroot is good for sports performance. Yes. He's oh, a bit of a rugby player, our Cole. He's a good boy. He's a chip off the old block. Transition to golf, aren't we? Oh! <laughs> so he's turned into an old man, just like his dad as well. <laughs> what, what, what are mushrooms like? Mushrooms are brilliant. Yeah. Very good. I love mushrooms. Some people, if they miss like a meaty taste, you get that like umami yeah. flavour, and so that can be a good substitute. Allium vegetables like spring onions, garlic, shallots. Yeah. Very cancer protective. Ah, oh, that's good. So I like to eat one of those daily. What, one spring onion? One type of Valium, <laughs> you cheeky boy. Cut that out of the vlog. We like to get two love cucumbers. cucumbers. I'm not going to tell you why. I do love cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> TMI. Yeah. What about lettuce? Some people describe iceberg lettuce as a watery bag of pesticides. Okay. So what you want is really dark coloured produce and yeah. thus the colours are the antioxidants. Yeah. So something like an iceberg lettuce, virtually no antioxidants. Iceberg lettuce has got about one unit of antioxidants more than the best antioxidant-rich um, animal food, which is salmon. Yeah. Um, so even the worst plant food is better than the best animal food, but you'd be better off with your spinach and okay, your, the okay. stuff you've already got. got so it. I wouldn't bother personally, unless Anna particularly like, likes yeah, she's, it. Uh, she's easy but it's a poor choice. Peppers? Peppers, great. Get them in your, get all the colors by the end of the day. Do you not find it weird how some people take out the green peppers or the yellow ones? Do you not ever notice that? Yeah. Before? Do you know that a green pepper is an unripe yellow pepper? I did not know that. And yellow peppers are less ripe red peppers. They're all the same. I don't know if he's having me on that. No, they're, they are. <laughs> they are. Your mum told me that and I thought she was having me on. But they are. Because you'll notice that these are quite bitter, whereas yeah. these are sweet. Okay. Yeah, they're just unripe. That's what it is. I did not know that. I did not know that. There you go. What about baby tomatoes? Tomatoes, brilliant. Yeah, get tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes, but I'll give it a try. Well, don't bother. No, I'll give it a go. If you're eating red peppers, you're getting the lycopene, which is the red pigment. So I'll give that's, it a go. Anyway. That's the real benefit. Anna eats these anyway, so. Yeah. I'll give it a go. Probably so know, knowing what I just told you about the colour of produce and which is more nutritious, yeah. which is the healthier? Yeah. 76% more antioxidants. So what, what is Boom. the an antioxidants for? Like what it they? undoes oxidative stress, yeah. basically like damage in your body. Okay. can prevent you getting cancers and things potentially. Ah, Very okay. good. I got you. Little hack. Hack. When, when you prepare onions, yeah. chop them up 10 minutes before you're going to cook them. So you can cry it out. So you can cry it out. <laughs> <laughs> He's good, isn't he? He's a bloody natural on camera. You're pissing me off. <laughs> it took me ages to get any good. Um, you produce more, there's a compound called uh, allium, which is the yeah. anti-cancer compound. Okay. And you get ten, you get a lot more if you chop the veggies before you cook them. If you cook them straight away, it doesn't have time to form. It has okay. to form. And yeah. you're killing the enzyme that does the process. Ah, okay, I get you. Sweet potatoes, are you, Love I mean, um, sorry, not sweet potatoes. Yeah, parsnips. These are butternut squash. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was way off then. <laughs> so these are great for vitamin E as well. I've never had butternut squash. Maybe not. No, I'll you give, it give, it give it a go. Yeah, it's it great go. stuff. What aubergine? What about aubergines? Aubergines, anthocyanins, like the dark pigment, very, very healthy. I've never it's had an aubergine. It's good. 
Get it in you. Yeah, I'll give it. When we go to Namaste, you need to have the uh, banging, but but I forget the name. Better say aubergine curry anyway. <laughs> I'll take one. Bang and Barter, I think it's called. They're very soft, aren't they? They are. What's great from this scale of stuff? Brilliant. So you got, obviously, the green, the red, black. So yeah. I'm guessing you're going to go more for black. Yeah. They tend to be sweet. I mean, it's good to have a range anyway. Like, if you're going to get loads, yeah. I'd say get more black. We'd get some red, some green if you want. But if I was just to get one, I'd be getting the black. So we'll stay black. Once you go black, you never go back. Or you end up in a wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you didn't. <laughs> uh, berries. Um, Berry. I love berries. I love berries. Obviously, they're a lot cheaper frozen, so it depends yeah. what you want to do with them. Well, it depends on what I have them with. So I, put, I do put frozen berries in with porridge. Yeah, so that's great for that. If so. you want any fresh ones, uh, blackberries are the most antioxidant rich of the locally available berries. Yeah, so. what about strawberries? What are they? Strawberry, they're, all, they're all good in their own I way. I love green berries. The beauty of whole plant foods is that they're just all really good for you. Do you have limes for anything? I don't really not have a lime, no. But well, I say I'm not no. a fan, I'm not. The only time I've ever had lime is when you have a bottle of Corona. Do you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> but I'm trying to, me and Anna had a little thing where I'm gonna try to stop drinking. Nice. Because she doesn't really drink, so. I'll tell you what, if you could do like no drinking, whole foods plant-based for like as some length of time, yeah. I think you'll just, there'll be such a pronounced difference, you're gonna feel yeah, super good. Yeah, I think it's a good experiment. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Good what boy. What nuts are you to get? Right, nuts. Pistachios are good before you sleep. They help you produce more melatonin. Chuck them in. <laughs> Salt. Uh, Brazils. Yeah. For selenium, you don't want a whole load. No. And don't let Isla have a load particularly. No. For, a, for a, an adult, four would bring you against a tolerable safe upper daily limit for selenium. Okay. So I, I tend to have like a couple a day basically. Okay. Sweet. I wouldn't recommend really going much higher. Almonds are good, yeah. These have got a lot of vitamin E, which some people can struggle with if they don't pay a, a bit of a care. So yeah. I eat those very regularly. Pumpkin seeds are good for zinc. Zinc is another nutrient that, which you can be low on if you don't pay a bit of a care. So it's good to have one or two tablespoons of Isn't pumpkin. there some sort of stuff you can put in, like your water to have your zinc levels? Oh, the stuff that if you get like a throat infection sort of thing? So. Yeah, not, it's not. better it's better to get it from your produce and then you probably wouldn't need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about apples? Apples all good? They're pretty good, yeah. They're all on all the scale. Are good. I think they're not at half time. as good as berries. No. If you're on a diet, they're a godsend because you can eat tons of them. Yeah. Pardon me for the swear. I like to put a <laughs> bit of cinnamon on them. Cinnamon on an apple? Yeah. Or a bit of nut butter, like almond butter or yeah, peanut yeah, butter. Yeah. And some date, like gooey dates with a slice of apple. Okay. But yeah. I, I know Anna went shopping today as well, so we so have she got, probably some, got, some she got some apples and she got some pears. How you like them apples? Got the pineapple. Oh, good girl. Cauliflower's good, but it's fairly similar nutritionally to broccoli. broccoli. Yeah. So you might not want to bother this time round. Uh, Depends how much volume you're eating. Not cauliflower <laughs> cheese, or there'd be trouble. <laughs> oh, God. Um, there is trouble. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, what about like um, all like sprouts and stuff like that? Brilliant. I only got into sprouts every week. Get them in you. I, I act this the one vegetable I don't really like. I do. I'll, I will eat one of Gemma's if she's made some, yeah. just to show Will in. But they're cruciferous, so they've got this sulforaphane, which is really anti-cancer. Yeah. It's in the broccoli as well. Ah. But any of these um, sprouts, cabbage, kale, curly kale. You can steam it, can't you? Yeah. One or two. I'll take two because I don't analog kale as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can make like a quite a good when you steam it. Yes. That's Goes really tender, doesn't it? Yeah. I like to include something like kale, broccoli, cabbage, sprouts once a day, so just because they're anti-cancer. What's your take on all this? Um, yeah, <laughs> not so much, probably. So what is it, some I spuds? I don't like it anyway. Yeah, it's just got like additives, sunflower oil, palm oil. What's that? Palm oil, that's just from like, um, I think palm trees, I guess. Um, it actually that makes sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would make sense. It acts like um, animal fat and can give you heart disease. Oh. So no palm oil. No palm oil. Hell no. What's your whole take on the whole protein bars and shit? Then? Um, I'm not really a fan. No. They mostly have some crap in there, like sugars and things, don't yeah. they? I use a couple of scoops of a protein powder, but like a good quality one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I get 150 grams of protein just from my food. That's all right. So yeah, I don't need a whole lot. Yeah, if you wanted to replace any meat-like things, here are some some options basically some are healthier than others really yeah. what is like sort of the mince made of 
Yeah, to be honest, I don't know. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> it's a bit weird how they can do like goujons and stuff like that. I just get Yeah. Oh, so this is mostly soy protein. Yeah. There's a little sunflower oil, which isn't the healthiest, but it's not too bad on the scale of things. So this would be a good mince alternative if you wanted that sort of yeah. texture and things. So that's worth considering. Yeah. Ultimately, I'd move more towards the yeah. whole feeds. But in the interim, this may help you. Do you reckon that could help you like sort it. of move over? Like transition. And Back the other thing... That looks weird, doesn't it? So this has probably got <laughs> coconut oil, I'm guessing, which is like that palm oil. Uh, oh, sunflower, Karen. that's called sunflower oil. Sunflower oil. Oh, it's not actually got... But there's a lot of kind of additives there. Whereas this one... It is processed and it's not the greatest, it's got a bit of salt, but this is fairly healthy. I'll eat this a couple of times a week myself. So it's mostly soya protein, soya isolate, pea protein. There's, there's hardly any oil at all. If you like bacon, this is a really good... I'm not a big fan of bacon. You're not? No. Does Anna like it? Uh, she's not a very big fan yeah, of bacon. Yeah, I won't bother then. Isla's a no-go on that. <laughs> but at home, if anyone is eating bacon currently and they want to go vegan, this is the healthiest one. Richmond sausages. Apparently, these taste like the no, real we've thing. we've had them. We've had them. How did you get yeah, off of them? I liked them. So did Anna. Yeah. And so did Isla. We've actually had them and they are pretty banging. Boom. Let's have a look at the ingredients just out of interest. Yeah, coconut oil. So again, this is a bit like eating an animal product in terms of heart okay. health. So, I mean, that's down to that's you, what, whether... That's why, that's why I feel, yeah. to feel That's why it tastes <laughs> good. <laughs> Is there, like, an alternative with, like, alcohol with, like... Okay, so alcohol-wise, yeah, many it. alcohols do have uh, animal products in the fining process. There's an app called Barnivore. Barnivore. Like Carnivore, but for people who put, uh, go to bars, yeah. and it tells you what's vegan, ah, and there's loads of vegan options. That's interesting. And you don't drink much, though, because he's a good lad. No. At least that's what he tells me. <laughs> <laughs> so the good thing about Asda and a lot of supermarkets now is they have whole plant-based sections to make it easy for you. Sound. You can see how popular it's getting. They're sold out of most of the things. <laughs> it's worth grabbing some tofu if you, if you like that. Is there any specific one? Specific? Maybe that one. Yeah, just that or one. Or unless, unless you want it pre-marinated, then go for the other one. So basically with this one, you'll need to make a marinade. Yeah. But we'll, we'll pick you up with a recipe for that. Sweet. A lot of these steak-like things, again, will be high in coconut oil generally. Yeah. Would you say that's like a one-off thing to have, like a once a week sort of thing? If you want to optimise your health and, and almost guarantee that you're not going to have a coronary, yeah. I would say no. There is probably a small amount that you can get away with mm -hmm. and not get your serum LDL above 57 milligrams per deciliter, but I don't know what that is without testing. Uh, so I think why risk it, do you yeah. know what I mean? I get that. I feel you. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to grab anything from here then. He's a good boy. He's learning. <laughs> Anything down here, Jim? No, we and that's the other good thing about vegan, is we don't have to do half the aisles. Exactly. <laughs> you can take an iodine supplement for your iodine. If not, it's good to have some seaweed. seaweed. So you can make sushi, like vegan sushi. sushi. Right, so you might want to grab some of that. I actually just eat these on their own in the yeah. morning. So I, I mean, we make sushi as well, but... You sure? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Um, which one what? So these are the sheets to make the sushi with, so... Um, two of those is your iodine for the day. Okay. Anna will be able to do that because she loves sushi. Brilliant. And then silken tofu is good. So it's like, it's like the hard tofu, but it's... Is that like the stuff that we had in the, um, the stir fry earlier? No, so that, that would be like a firm tofu. Okay. So this is for more like sauces and desserts, like yeah. mousses and things. Okay. So... Uh, we use silken tofu in some of our recipe book, don't we? Yeah. We gave you the recipe books, didn't we? Yeah, I've given you the recipe So you might, you might want to grab some of that and give yeah. that a go. Very high in protein. Lovely. So very good. Quinoa. Quinoa, very yeah. good I've for a, a vegan athlete. Very good. So, yeah, so we've now come to that section. I'll tell you what else is good. I mean, you can get canned legumes, which are quick and easy. Or if you want to make it cheaper, you can buy the raw stuff and like yeah. cook it. So it takes a f few hours generally, though. Okay. Um, and there's different grains as well, bulgur wheat. Um, you know, if you want to give those what, a try. What did you say? Chickpeas are good. Chickpeas are brilliant. Any, any basically legume, very high in protein. A lot of the minerals that you get in meat as well, so good like substitute. Stick these in like a curry as well, don't you? Yeah, they're very good in curries. Nice. We had some yesterday at that wedding, didn't we? Do you ever do you use like jarred sauces? Yes. Now, actually, the fact that these tomatoes have been cooked means you get more of the lycopene, like the red pigment, which yeah. is a very powerful antioxidant. So really healthy. This one is, the oil is below in the ingredients, the uh, garlic. So yep. th there's virtually no oil. Okay then. Basically, Sweet. so a very healthy one. Lovely job. 
So yeah, if you like jerky, you can get, obviously it's not the healthiest thing, but no. it's not too bad on the scale of things. I don't think it'll give you heart disease. So no. yeah, I, I quite like it. I'll eat it on a rare occasion, but not often. I'm not a big jerky fan. Nah. It's all right for a quick protein hit on the go. Yeah. Quite high in salt and fat though, though isn't it? It is, it is salty. Optimally, stick to the whole foods, people. Now, spreads, they're, spread. they're going to have a lot of additives and like... We normally get a spread almost as a light over. I yeah. think. So that's going to be buttermilk. So, I mean, it, it's lighter, but it's still going to contribute to heart disease. Yeah, which, so, for a spread then, if, if what's I want spread? one. No, for us, we would use avocado mashed up, yeah. which does the same job, but okay. it's a whole food. Yeah. Um, which you'll soon get used to. To be fair, sometimes I don't even use butter on sandwiches anyway, so. Yeah. I'm not really sure, because we don't eat it. You want to look for one without um, hydrogenated like plant oil. Yeah. This has got palm oil. Yeah, so is that. None of this. The best idea is me and Gemma have got a recipe video on our channel, sunflower seed spread. Yeah. What is it, sunflower seeds, agar agar? Yeah, hardly any. Just good stuff. Just make a big batch of it up and stick Give it, it in the fridge. Give it a watch. Give it a watch and give it a cook. Good man. What like, sp like i.e. spray? Personally, yeah, we, we skip it. We use a, a non-stick pan. Yeah, if you're gonna. We used to use that quite a bit. Yeah. We used to use that quite a bit. So that's, that's the worst thing for, for heart disease. If, if, I wouldn't, but if I was gonna, I would do something like that. Yeah. But you know, yeah. if, if you want to use that, it's, it's not gonna be too bad. No. It'd be a lot better than like the alternative. So why back in the day did everybody used to use cocoa butter? Co cocoa. Coconut butter. Coconut butter. Oh. Because clever marketers said, oh, it's got medium chain triglycerides, which are not, not bad, like they're yeah. healthy. Well, they're not actually healthy. They do contribute to heart disease, but only a fraction as much as these long and very long chain triglycerides. Yeah. What they didn't tell you is, 8% medium chain, 92% long and very long chain. Um. Basically, they're bad. <laughs> 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 very prominent in your diet should be legumes. They're brilliant. Legumes. So beans, chickpeas, split peas, lentils. Personally, I eat about three cans a day. Um, that's probably going to be a lot straight off the bat, and it might so upset get, your I'll tummy. Get, I'll get two cans, so there is three of us. Yeah, black, black beans, beans are particularly black, good. Black beans. I know we've got black beans. Nice. Uh, Kidney beans, lentils. lentils are great. I basically get as many different ones as I can and just cycle through them. Beans. I, I sometimes use like a no added sugar bean if I want. Again, yeah. it's not quite a whole food, so it's not optimal, but it, you know, it's not too bad. I, I know we've got some. Oh, and so here's the whole plant-based crap section. The crap <laughs> section. There's some good stuff in there as well. Basically, anything you want can be veganized. So, you know, there's chocolates and all the stuff, you know, like Sakla, Sharwoods. Yeah, it's all there. It's all there to be eaten. Yeah. Sunny Jim says he likes his sweets, and we have found some vegan-friendly fruit pastels. So, uh, as, he's new, as he's new to the whole vegan thing, I'm going to allow it, but as time goes on, we're going to be cutting that we'll, out. We'll see what we can sneak in. <laughs> Do you like tuna? Love tuna. So, yeah, this is... Tuno. 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 Yeah. I'll give different, that a go. Different flavors. These cheeses are full of coconut oil again. They nearly always are. You can get like um, cashew based ones in some places. Yeah. Normally in a supermarket, it's not even worth it. I'm not thinking. a big cheese fan, so. Yeah, that's not bad. What's that goo stuff? It's just some really uh, naughty desserts. Is it? Okay. I've got my naughty there. So. Yeah. You've not um, got too much of the naughty. I approve. <laughs> I oh, yeah. that's, pretty, that's a pretty decent trolley, isn't it? Let's face it. I think all I need is almond milk yep. out of here. What do you reckon, sweetened, unsweetened, or does it not matter? So, the science is, like, free sugars not attached to fibre are the biggest dietary contributor towards Alzheimer's disease, yeah. which is really on the rise and it's horrible. So I prefer unsweetened yeah, stuff. Unsweetened, so... So, and if you want to sweeten it, plug a date in and whiz it up. Yeah. Are these the unsweetened ones, then? If it has no sugar, I can't actually see Yeah, it will be, that'll these be the ones. one you want, yeah. Sweet. No, I don't even so know the, what they are, for honest. These are important. Sometimes they're called linseeds. Yep. Sometimes they're called flax seeds. Okay. So those and chia seeds, these have a lot of omega-3 okay. fatty acids, which is essential. Okay. So it's good to have maybe two to four tablespoons of these at any time of day or whenever you want they must be ground okay in order to get the omega-3 and i would go heavier on the chia seeds yeah these actually have a bit of cyanide in them okay which, which is does... okay in small it kills you oh but it's okay in small doses <laughs> yeah all right 
you, you probably have to do the whole thing to do yourself <laughs> damage. I have a tablespoon of that, and then I have like three of those, okay. personally. If you wanted like a meat-like burger, these ones have no coconut oil and yeah. they taste all right. If you grill them, like it gets rid of a lot of the oil and they're um, I'll tell you what, I'll try, so I'll protein. try them. Do you want to try them? I'll try them just to see what, see what I'm dealing with. I think as well, because you've got a lot of healthy food and there's a lot of fiber. If you were to just eat that straight off the bat, you could have some dysbiosis. Yeah. It's just good to, to slowly up your fiber okay. and, and bring the other things out over a few weeks. Yeah, I think I'll get you. So that's it guys. I hope you liked the video. Comment below if you'd like to see a follow-up video seeing how Carl got on. <laughs> Too early. Now click this. <laughs>